This is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot, and we're going to cover a couple of things concerning the power supply. Now, if you've got a PrinterBot Plus and you're an international customer, you do not have this power supply. Currently, we do not ship power supplies with international PrinterBot Plus orders. Uh, it's just simply, simply too big. Um, we ship our Plus package in this, the large rate flat box, and the, the power supply won't fit in there. So everyone else should be getting a power supply. So when you get your power supply, um, it comes right out of the box. There's some stuff in the box that you don't need. Um, this little guy, a uh, couple of flimsy things. So take it out of the box and uh, try to turn it on. It's not going to work. Now, Fan isn't spinning, I don't hear anything, nothing's going there. Why? Well, this is a computer power supply. It's an ATX power supply. And if you do get your own, um, you want one that's fancier or has a higher gauge wire or whatever, um, get one that's bigger than 250 watts. Now, we only use the 12 volt voltage coming out of here. So there's a whole bunch of these wires you won't even use. But if you can see any of them that are yellow or black, that actually signifies 12 volts. So what we're going to do is we are going to install this little guy, which is going to take uh, the 12 volts coming through this wire and the 12 volts coming through this wire, the black and the yellow. And we're going to plug these into our jumper here, or our little Y adapter. And this is going to bring more, it's going to spread out the current across uh, more of these wires and uh, especially this is essential for the printer bot plus um, these wires are just simply it's a cheap power supply um, you don't want to use uh, these wires alone to plug in to here uh, if you're a plus owner for sure you want to use this to first plug into here the printer board and now you've got this Y to plug in this cable and then find this one there's all these extra things these are like for hard drives and stuff um, it's all strung out and if one has higher gauge wire you're going to want to use that one so I'm going to use this one um, higher gauge wire means thicker wire so if you compare these two well that's not even the right plug so this is the stuff that we're going to use it's got a nice gauge wire here we're going to plug this in here, and you can notice there's, there's only two pins. And what this does, like I said, it's going to spread out the current between more wires and make, you know, allow a lot of power to come through this power supply into our printer board. Because this actually uses um, these two guys here, where the heater boards, uh, the heater board on the print bed, and the um, extruder heater, uh, the UBIS hot end heater. So a lot of power is coming through here to here. We want to make sure we got big old beefy wire, so that's why you have this. Again, plus owners must use that plug. Or go out and get yourself a power supply with thicker wire, like 16 gauge wire coming out of it, instead of this weenie stuff here that we ended up with. So anyway, that's that. So that's going to take care of the, the Y adapter. But notice, still nothing. So what's the deal? Well, computer power supplies usually have a power switch on the front of the computer. And a long story short, basically you leave the power supply for a computer, you leave the power supply turned on, and then you got this little soft um, button in the front, you know, that clicks on and off. Well, we're, we don't have that, all right? So we're going to do the reverse. We're going to tell this guy he's always on by using this jumper. And then we'll be able to use um, the switch for our on and off, okay? So again, we're going to short this little power sensor, um, these wires that sense if the power's on, and we're just going to put a jumper across there. So it's the only wire in the whole bundle that's green. And there's a bunch of black wires, so you could truthfully do it with any black wire. But what I'm going to do is just use the black wire that, that's right next to the green here, and I am going to take this. We've got a pin here that works really nicely with the size of... Um, you know, receiver pin in here, so, boom, oh, did you hear, the power supply just came on, 
because we're shorting across the green and one of the black wires with that jumper. Okay, so that's how that jumper works. Again, green and black. Stick them right in there. You can tape that up or whatever you want to do. Tape this bundle up, however you want to do it. Now I can use, I can just set that aside and my power button works. Okay, pretty cool. By the way, um, if you're international, you're going to want to switch this. Uh, it's a switching power supply. Um, if you're in the U.S., don't even touch it. Okay. 115 is proper for U.S. and the other is for all you European folks and abroad. So now, what if you don't have this jumper? Uh, what if you don't have this? If you've got a plus and you don't have this, you got to get one or a bigger power supply. If you don't have this, we got an easy, easy solution. This is just shorting the wires across there. So if, uh, if you want to, you can do what we've done over here. We've clipped the red and the black wires. Let's see if you can see it. We've just clipped them. Um, not the red and the black. The green and the black. Um, we've clipped them. And we are just going to twist these together. And if you solder, you don't have to solder. You can just twist these together and it's fine and then you can tape that up and protect it and then it will turn on. Um, you could also get one of those wire nuts from the hardware store and twist that little wire nut on there, you know, and it gets tighter as it goes down and protects it. But if it's not protected, um, you got to wrap it up with tape. That will take the place of our fancy little jumper being in here. Boom, boom. So instead of getting up there, you can just twist those together if you cut those. So anyway, so that is the issues with the power supply, and that's how you can get power to your printer board. So have fun.